It is a picture perfect Saturday afternoon in Oxford, Mississippi, and today we present the Grove Bowl. It's the Ole Miss spring game. Red versus Navy. The fans anxious to get a look at this new look Ole Miss roster. Always a fly sweep, a run to the boundary, and Altmeyer showing his mobility at quarterback. Kind of unfair, right? You don't want to hit your QB. <laughs> it's completely unfair. Take Six yard touchdown right? run. Yeah. <laughs> Use the rules to your advantage, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. Ulysses Bentley, SMU transfer, now in at running back for the two point attempt. Altmeyer to throw. And gets picked off. So there you go. Nice play in the back end by Davison Igbenonison, freshman from Union, New Jersey. Jackson Dart, sophomore from Kaysville, Utah, started his college career at USC. And he goes over the middle to his roommate and former USC teammate. This is Michael Treg, a gain of 21. And with Darts on the field, get ready to see a lot of Dart to Trigg, big number zero. To explain to him and show him this is what we do within this offense and how we see you fitting in. That seems almost excessive. I guess you can't leave anything to change. Going for all of it right there. Whistled dead, said the pressure got to him. Fourth and three now for Jackson Dart and the Navy offense. Going to answer score, pressure up the middle, and they'll whistle that one dead in a big time sack. And a celebration, not bad for a defense, which is uh, looking to create more havoc after they lost Sam Williams. Really nice golf course. <laughs> Here's Altmeyer. And Kiffin with hands in the air. Didn't like whatever happened there. This looks good at the tail end of it. The catch and run action. And there's some breakaway speed and big play ability with a gain of 42. Open field quickness and speed. And then he's able to cap it off with a run into the end zone. And you can see it there. Definitely a gear that the coaches have referenced. If the kids pick him out for me. So there's a lot of drip out here, standing in puddles. Thanks, Lane. Um, for more on, on Jalen Knox from Missouri, had to sit out last year as a transfer. Kiffin obviously was a head coach in the NFL with the Oakland Raiders. He's been sacked four times already in this game. It's three of eight through the air. A little high for Trigg, and he's intercepted. Just a bit behind his tight end. And Derek Bermudez with a nice return, got a block on the edge for two games for Derek Henry when he was at Alabama. And Lane Kiffin was calling the plays. That one's good for a first down and more. All right, that's a gain of 21. This next week, an upper body injury. He said he'll be perfectly fine and ready to get back. That's usually a surgery and an injury that comes from starting pitchers. Why is the kicker throwing so much? Yeah, we just figured it out. Uh, is your headset plugged in? Because I don't know if Nice Wanders is. Oh, God. And bounce back to his feet. We, we're wondering, if, where, where are the spots you feel like you could improve before May 1st? I think receiver. Mingo's not playing today, so obviously that will help. We've got some other guys coming in, but receiver and linebacker especially. I'm about because the power programs were warehousing talent. So they figured... And this one's picked off, coming right towards Matt Stinchcomb and headed for the end zone. And plenty of room. Chasing. Not going to get him. A 73-yard interception return for Johnson. Give him a chance to get in the end zone, too. He's got that suit on for a reason. There's Trigg, and there's a touchdown with 36 seconds left on the clock. Eight starts last year at SMU, second on the team in rushing. 96 carries, 610 yards. Altmeyer going down the seam. Henry, what a leaping grab, and he takes it inside the 20. Went up the ladder to make that catch. At the other side, James and Brooks are the tackles. They'll whistle that one dead, just inside the 10 in a timeout taken. I want to get back to Broker. Here's Kale Nation, 25-yard field goal attempt for the red team. Put it right over the net and into the bleachers. I, I, I wanted to catch it off the net. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if I could have, but 
Thanks, Kale. And that's with off-season workouts. Here's Wooler to the outside. And he stays on his feet and bounces it to the sideline, and he's going to take it all the way. A 57-yard touchdown run for the senior from Hattiesburg, Isaiah Wooler. Start the clock. Altmeyer. And no whistle. He takes it all the way into the end zone. They'll call it a touchdown. Matt Corral was a leading rusher for this Ole Miss team last year. That's a 29-yard touchdown run for the quarterback. Yeah, it's part of the reason why they had so many rush attempts. You had that quarterback contributing from his position. Watkins has got a lot of looks here today. It's a little bit of thumb, but Shepard takes it in from nine yards out. And Navy adds another tally. Stop. Catch. She tried to extend it over the goal line, and they say he is in. Touchdown. It's USC to USC. Jackson Dart to Michael Trent. So, the USC program giving in the transfer portal. Bubba Miller is the running back. A little play action. And fits it in perfectly. Seller Shy will take it to the house. A 32-yard touchdown from the upperclassmen in the Memphis product. Red team going for two. A sidearm toss, and that's into the end zone for the conversion. J.J. Pegues, I believe, on the catch. <laughs> Looking for Trigg. He's covered. Or is he? Nice leaping catch, and Zero hooks up once again for another score by the time it comes from Dart, his roommate and USC teammate. Just grind him on the film, and every once in a while you see him in the cafeteria, you forget they're even in the complex most of the time because they're basically in there breaking down the tape of their future opponents. It's kind of like a gerbil. You only know, see him a couple of times a day. Touchdown pass from Kike Dent. Of Michael Trigg, the guy who's going to be a force this season in the conference. There's Trigg, and he wins a jump ball. Why has the tight end position become reestablished in college football as an elite spot? Well, I think part of it, too, is, is this is a tempo off looking good no matter what jersey they're wearing. Dent having a heck of a game. He finds Johnson for the score. Nice winder ends up winning the contest, and he takes a Gatorade bath to boot. He will be reliving this more than he lived any of Alabama's national titles when he was a player there. Everybody's got a star of the game. We appreciate you watching this with a final score of 48-25 on a fun one.